from the studios of WBBM in the great city of Chicago, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint, whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good. It's refreshing. And the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will too. And now Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi, as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, tonight my night school classes are going to be all excited because Miss Spalding is going to announce the winner of our essay contest. I'm going to hope to win, Mamma Mia, because when I'm talking the English language, it's not so bad. But when I'm trying to push it on the paper, I feel like it's trying to push you back. But Mamma Mia, how I would love to win such a prize. The Alfred lost the gut in the cup. That's a given once every year to the night school pupil who's write the best composition entitled This is Chicago. I, I'm a tried my best to win. I went to the big library on East Washington Street to see if they got some book on Chicago. But it's not the one book, it's a thousand. I think I took home enough for books to start the Basco branch of the public library. <laughs> and all this is, is to give me some good ideas which I'm wrote in my essay and tonight in the school Miss Pauling is going to tell us who's the winner. America, I love you. You're like a papa to me. From the ocean to ocean. Fellas, Miss Pauling said yesterday she would announce the winner as soon as she comes in today. <laughs> you think you're going to win, Horowitz? I got to be truthful and say yes. When it comes to writing English, you're looking at Hemingway Horowitz. <laughs> uh, Horowitz, uh, don't be too cocksure. Uh, I wrote 23 pages about that great city, in which I told about every street, every drive, every boulevard. So what? I got a city map that does all that in one page. <laughs> Quiet, fellas. Here comes Miss Paul. Good evening, class. Good evening, Miss Pauling. Miss Pauling, please. Who ran the Chicago contest? Yeah, who won it? Please, tell us. My, you all look so nervous. Well, maybe everybody else is, but not me. <laughs> no? Then get your fingers out of the inkwell. <laughs> oh, no wonder I thought I was turning blue. <laughs> Come on, Miss Pauling, don't keep us in suspense. Stand right up, announce the lucky winner, and let everybody start shaking my hand. <laughs> That's oh, right, Miss Pauling. Come on, please. Class, please. Class, please. Before I announce the winner, I would like to say I think you all did a wonderful job on those essays, and I'm only sorry that I could not select more than one winner. But that winner's essay was so distinctively different, so uniquely outstanding, so oh, really... Remember, Miss Sparling, we are dying and you are filibustering. <laughs> all right, all right. Class, the winner is Luigi Basco. <laughs> Me... Luigi, oh, congratulations, Luigi. that's wonderful. Oh, well, thank, thank you, friends, thank you. Well, now, Miss Spalding, I can relax, the contest is all over. Well, not yet, Mr. Basco. Your essay might be selected to represent our entire school. Oh, no. You can't tell. From there, it might go on to the district and then the city finals. Miss Spalding, what are you saying is impossible? Oh, we'll know soon enough, Mr. Basco. Miss Spalding? Yes, Mr. Harwood? I don't want to jinx Luigi by looking ahead. But what happens if he should win the finals? Well, then he would get the Alfred Lustgarten Gold Cup. 
to, and, and that's real gold, isn't it, Miss Thornley? Yes. Ah, uh, such beautiful pawn shop bait. <laughs> uh, Miss Thornley, uh, I understand that the final spinner will, will read his composition at a special ceremonial assembly in the Civic Auditorium. I, is that true? Yes, that's right, Mr. Olson. What? Miss Thornley, you mean I'm, I'm going to have to read it in front of people? Uh-huh. Ach, so what? Schmei, Luigi. You know, Abraham Lincoln read his Gettysburg address in front of people. Not only didn't he get a cup, they didn't even give him a zossa. <laughs> well, I think it's all over anyway. If our principal had selected yours, Mr. Basco, he would have been here by now. Oh, yes. Yes, Mr. Ort, the principal. Huh? Miss Spalding, may I address the class? Why, of course, Mr. Ort. It's about the Chicago Essay Contest. He did it! Luigi did it! Uh, for he's a Charlie good fellow! For he's a Charlie good fellow! Yeah. For he's a Charlie good fellow! <laughs> Luigi did win, Mr. Oz, huh? He did. Mamma mia! Mama. For he's, he's a Charlie good fellow! Which nobody can deny! <laughs> For a minute, I thought I was going to have to switch to hearts and flowers. <laughs> well, Mr. Basco, you look confused. A aren't you happy about winning the school elimination? I'm very happy, Miss Spalding. It's a very interesting piece of work, Mr. Basco, and I'm hoping it will at least get up to the district competition. I'm a happy so too, Mr. Orton. I want to thank you very much. I wish you the best of luck. Good night, all. Good, Good night, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm very proud of you, Mr. Basco. Thank you, Miss Spalding. Very well written. Thank you. Excellently conceived. Thank you. And I well, do... Don't keep us in suspense. Read it already. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, class. Now, Mr. Basco, let's not keep the class waiting any longer. Here's your paper. Read your essay. All right. This is a Chicago by Luigi Basco. <laughs> Well, Mamma Mia, all this has happened a week ago. Then one morning I was trying to sell a customer some antique. Is this really a genuine antique Boston rocking chair? Uh, well, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, it's a real Boston rocker. Mamma Mia, the telephone. The telephone. Hello? Hello? Mr. Basco? Yes, yes, it's I'm it's me. I mean, it's, it's a Luigi, Luigi Basco. Yes. Well, congratulations, Mr. Basco. You've just won the district competition. Mr. Basco, are you all right? Uh, operator, I, I think I've been cut off. No, Miss Pudding, I think my tongue is cut off. <laughs> but, Mr. Basco, aren't you excited? Excited? Miss Pudding, if I had my way, all of the dimes would have dropped out of the phone book where you are, and you would have got them all. <laughs> Mr. Vasco, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm starting to feel proud of myself, too. <laughs> well, now they're just the big city finals to worry about, Mr. Vasco. We should know in a day or two. Oh, no, 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 Miss Balding. That's all. I'm one enough, and I'm satisfied. Well, anyway, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. Goodbye. Goodbye, and, and thank you. Uh, Mr. Basco, how much are you asking for that rock? Any, anything you want. Then. What? Uh, I'm so happy now. You remember the price I'm going to bargain you down. <laughs> Oh, I never... Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Oh, Miss Patty, it was a wonderful. You should make me this little celebration party. Oh, it's not there, the little banana nose. <laughs> Who else is it going to make you for you? After all, I brought you here from Italy, and if you get to be president of the United States someday, they got me to blame. <laughs> Miss Polly. Don't be surprised if Luigi wins the big prize, that gold loving cup. Oh, how do we just stop that? Now, no, there's too many smart people in the Chicago schools. It's impossible I should win the final. Oh, don't say that, Luigi. You're going to win the big loving cup. And even if you don't. Even if I don't. Then I'm going to give you the cup, and my roses are going to give you the love. <laughs> <laughs> say, Pasquale, where is Rosa? Where you think? In the kitchen with the spaghetti. Cooking it. You're crazy eating it. <laughs> Wait, I call her in and then we all gonna drink a toast to Luigi. Rosa! 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 Of course it's Papa! 
<laughs> yes, my little Cupid doll, Rosa. Say, I hope you love a bug, Luigi. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. Luigi, you've got no idea how proud Rosa is about you. Even if you don't win the big cup to her, you're still going to be the smartest, most legible bachelor in America. Is that right, Rosa? <laughs> what did you say, Papa? Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, Rosa. You're very sweet. You too, Luigi. <laughs> Oh, all right, everybody. Let's drink a toast now to Luigi. Raise up the wine glasses, everybody. Your here's to the final. Good luck. I told Luigi, may you find everything in America that you came to look for. And if it's a blonde, we're going to help you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, hello. 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 Uh, Papa, look, a customer just came in. What are you talking about? That's no customer. It's a fellow from the Western Union. The Western Union? I got a telegram for Luigi Basco. I didn't find him next door. Uh, hey, that's it for me. And here's a diamond for you. Well, thanks. Quick, open it, Mr. Basco. Luigi, why you turn so pale? You know, does the method start with the word greetings? <laughs> <laughs> and it's from the Board of Education. And he says, now here, I'm supposed you read. Dear Mr. Basco, your essay, This is Chicago, has been selected by our judges as the citywide prize winner. Oh, oh, right. Right. Oh, right. 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 Please, please. Kindly be prepared to read your essay at special ceremonies to be held at the Civic Auditorium on November the 18th at 8.30 p.m., at which time Mr. Alfred Lustgarten will make the formal presentation of the annual Lustgarten Cup. Congratulations and best wishes, A.C. Aldworth, Chairman, Board of Education, Chicago, Illinois. Mamma mia, I'm a wonder cup. <laughs> I'm a yes, and I understand the mayor of Chicago will be at your reading. Mayor. What? Yes, certainly there'll be over 5,000 people in the hall. 5,000 a pay. Well, don't stand there, everybody. Bring a pail of cold water. Luigi's a painter. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that means daily enjoyment for you. Wherever you go, whatever you do, be sure to have a package of delicious Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum with you. It's always a treat to chew Wrigley Spearmint because it tastes so good and because the chewing itself is so enjoyable. What's more, that good, lively chewing helps keep your spirits up, breaks up monotony, makes time pass more pleasantly. On the job or off the job, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum gives you real chewing fun and satisfaction. So, enjoy chewing Wrigley Spearmint often, every day. Keep a package in your purse or pocket so that you can chew a stick whenever you want it. That's Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. Now, let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Mamma mia, how proud you would be of your Luigi today. Imagine, Mamma mia, 5,000 people, they're going to listen to me, Luigi Basco. fellow who can't even speak English right. Mamma mia. Luigi, my fellow boob. Hello, Schultz. No, some hello. It sounds more like a Dachshund saying Auf Wiedersehen. Oh. Ach, why the sourpuss, Luigi? Schultz, yeah? Tell the truth. I'm speaking with a bad accent, huh? Act. Oh, so that is what's worrying you. Is a bad accent? Ach, first. no, Luigi, you are wrong. Well, you, you got it a foreign accent, like I got it a foreign accent. Uh, I mean, for the short time you are in America, Luigi, why, you speak a beautiful English. Now, shut the shut the place, it done fool me. No, Luigi, believe me, if I didn't know you come from Italy, I would swear you was born in Boston. <laughs> now, shut the place, please, it done mix me up. I know I'm a speaker with an accent. Ach, so what, Luigi? You got to sheer up and stop worrying over every little thing. 
no smile. In America, nobody cares how you speak. It's what you say that counts. Yeah, but it shows I'm, I'm going to talk in front of 5,000 Americans. I'm going to tell them all about that in Chicago with my beautiful Italian accent. So what? Everybody knows America is a big melting pot. Some of us have already melted, and <laughs> fellas like you, they just started to cook. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure, but but sure, so tell me what, what I should do. I feel so terrible. Ach, cheer up, smile, Luigi. You got nothing to worry about. Believe me. Now promise me you're gonna forget all your crazy worries and relax until tomorrow night. All right, Schultz. Oh, that's the boy. Now, now show the teeth. Come on, smile for Schultz. <laughs> oh, wonderful, Luigi. Well, I gotta go now. But smile, Luigi. Be like me, huh? Always happy, always laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my rheumatism is killing me. Mamma mia, I'm not going to worry. I'm, I mean, I am not going to... Mamma mia. Hello, Mr. Chicago. Was that a short side you saw leaving? Yep, yeah, Pascal, he, he's trying to cheer me up because... Well, I'm, I'm feeling a little nervous. Oh, it's nothing, Luigi. You're just suffering from a little case of stage of fright, that's all. Thank you, Fletch. What's it this, Pasquale? That's the way you feel when they call your name. You walk up to the microphone, but your stomach don't walk with you. <laughs> Mamma mia. But that's not going to happen to you. The whole thing is in your mind. Look, Luigi, just tell yourself, I ain't afraid of these 10,000 people. I ain't... 10,000? I thought it was a 5,000. Luigi, with the mayor and all those big shots there, they could have 100,000. 100,000? Pasquale, I'm not going to... I mean, I am not going, I, I, I mean, going to... What's the matter, Luigi? You starting to stutter? Pascal, I'm not stuttering. I, I mean, I'm, I am not stuttering. I, I'm just a kind of talk English. What? What are you talking? Well, I'm, I'm going to freeze up and drop my peppers and shake my hands and, and make my speech in Italian. Luigi, where you get all these crazy ideas? Because you not crazy. I'm, I'm trying the best. I mean, I am trying the the. You see, Pascal, when I try to say, it comes out of that. <laughs> so what? That's the same thing with me. <laughs> but Pascal, it's, it's not used to be funny. I, I just can't talk. Isn't that is an improvement? Let me see. No, no, your tongue is the same size it always was. <laughs> That's what I thought. But hey, Pasquale. Maybe they got some special teachers in Chicago who could take away my accent by tomorrow night. Take away your accent by tomorrow night, eh? Oh, sure, that's a simple thing. Maybe we even slip them a few extra bucks he's going to take out of your appendix, too. <laughs> look, Luigi. No, but Scotty, maybe we look up in the telephone book and find some, some speech teacher, huh? The least they could do is, is help me a little. Luigi, take my advice. Uh, Pasquale, please. Oh, no, all right. Look, do me one big favor. Eh? What, the Pasquale? Next time you enter a contest, try to lose, eh? <laughs> Mr. Basco. <clears throat> you say you saw my advertisement in the classified telephone directory. Hmm? Yes, it's a say H L went to it, speech correction. Yeah, yeah. Now, and you want me to remove your accent by tomorrow night? Yes, please. Hmm. <laughs> well, I might be able to give you a few pointers, Mr. Basco, but don't expect miracles. All right, maybe that's going to be better than nothing. Uh, 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 not, not that, sir, Mr. Basco. <laughs> Just say that. Just that's, yeah. not that, sir? No, no, no. If you remember, that's a step in the right direction. Oh, yeah. you just said it. Uh, said what? That's it. I said that's a step. Oh, you said it again. Uh, Mr. Vasco, in that case, I'm allowed to say it. Why? Because you was born in America? <laughs> no, not at all. Because in my sentence, A is an indefinite article and belongs, but well, in your sentence... He is merely thrown in. It serves no function in the sentence and does not belong. <laughs> is that clear? No. <laughs> and I see, if, if, if I'm using that, that's no good, but if you use that, that's a good way. Uh, Mr. Basker, don't say, please don't say I'm. Just I'm. You? 
No, I. Say it, I use, not I'm a use. I use. Of course, correct. <laughs> For instance, you don't say he a use, do you? <laughs> sure not. I'm going to say he's a use. <laughs> Mr. Basker, if you would only think before you speak, I think we might be able to rid you of your worst speech defect. Uh -huh. And just remember not to throw an A into a sentence where it does not belong. All right. All right. Now, <clears throat> please repeat this sentence after me. He went to a party. Ah, no, no, no. You're not going to make me say to A. Mr. Basker, in that sentence, the word A belongs. Oh. He went to a party. Good, good, good. Now, she went to a party. She went to a party. They went to a party. They went to a party. Now, if you went to the party, what would you say? I'm going to say thank you for inviting me. <laughs> no! And you don't say I'm a... That's a no good. It's a no good. Good heavens, now he's got me talking with an accent. <laughs> We have just heard the Egmont Overture by Beethoven, played by our own Chicago Civic Orchestra. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with great pride and privilege, the mayor. Hey, the mayor, Miss Boyden. Mr. Basco, what's the matter? I'm, 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 I can't speak. What? What do you say? You, 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 you got to speak for me. Mr. Basco, snap out of it, you hear me? I'm, 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 I can't, not, not, I'm, I'm not speaking. It is it's impossible. But you're on in a minute. You've got to speak, Mr. Basco. I, I, I can't. Goodness. Ladies and gentlemen and honored guests, it's a pleasure for me to come here each year and hear the prize winner of our citywide night school essay contest. So now, without further ado, I present the man responsible for this annual award, one of Chicago's most distinguished philanthropists and a great humanitarian, Alfred Lustfeld. How do you feel now? Can't, 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 can't speak. Dear friends, members of the Board of Education, students of the Chicago Night School, and your honor, the mayor. <coughs> Mama mia, he talks with an accent. <laughs> Only 28 Shh. short years ago, I came to this wonderful country and received my education in the night schools of Chicago. He's a talk with an accent too, Miss Bowley. What? He's a like me, just a like me. And since then, the city of Chicago has been very close to my heart. It gives me great pleasure now to introduce the principal speaker of the evening, the man who will read us his prize-winning essay, An Immigrant Like Myself, from Miss Spalding's Night School Class, North Halstead Street Branch, Mr. Luigi Basco. Come on, come on, Mr. Basco, they're waiting. <laughs> He talks with an accent. Friends, Mr. Mayor, Joanna, and the man who's given me great confidence, Mr. Lustigat. I'm going to read my essay, which I like to dedicate to my teacher, Miss Spalding, and, and which I'm write in the form of a poem, because poetry is a beautiful and so is my town. This is Chicago. I have read many books on America because I come from a far shore. I've wished to learn and, and so in turn give back what I get and more. And on many pages of these books, the great city of Chicago is shown. The history, buildings, the streets and the parks, but not the Chicago I've known. Sure, Chicago is the home of the Middle West, greatest meeting packing center ever seen. A railroad terminal is in the heart of the world, and it sits by the lake like a queen. The greatest convention city in 48 states, the Wrigley Building known all over the world. But all of these things, when you read from the page, is like seeing a flag at Sunfold. For these things, it's true, they're great, 
They represent only things made by men. And though I love and I respect and honor them all, I would like to make you feel Chicago if I can. Chicago is a sound, the whistle, brave and free. The men are working and they're sweating and you can see they are proud, very proud as they hammer and a pound on their anvils, run the trains, store the wheat. Chicago is a heart and it beats for a democracy. It is a song that sings come to me. I open my arms and beckon you all, and no matter from where you come, nor who you are, and nor how you think, I will take all of you and, and blend you and make you think true and ever hopeful. For I am the city that is old and wise and young and sweet, and I will cherish your experiments and your ideas, full with the freedom, speaking for America. Clear and new and brave. This is Chicago to me. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is the easy, enjoyable way to sweeten your breath and help keep your mouth feeling fresh and clean. There's lots of lively, full-bodied, real spearmint flavor in Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. And you can chew and enjoy a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint as long as you like, anytime, any place. So do as millions of people do. Keep a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum with you all the time. Whenever you want a taste treat or you want to freshen your mouth, chew a stick. Remember, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum gives you chewing enjoyment plus refreshing, long-lasting flavor. And it costs so little, you can enjoy it often, every day. That's Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. And now, it's our pleasure to present Mr. Carl W. Rosenbaum, State Commander of the Veterans of Foreign Wars for the State of Illinois. In recognition of interest taken, cooperation rendered, and a very valuable and meritorious service in the interest of furthering Americanism through the Life with Luigi radio and television programs broadcast over the Columbia Broadcasting System, this constituting an enviable record of aid and inspiration in the service of our country and community. I would like to present to you, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, this award of merit. Well, thank you, Commander Rosenbaum and the Veterans of Foreign Wars. It, it's indeed a great pleasure to accept this award for myself and all those connected with life with Luigi. And I assure you, we shall always try to continue to live up to this award of merit, which you have so graciously bestowed upon us, and thanks so much again. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen again next week at the same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. Script written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Falling, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olsen. Music under the direction of Cesar Petrillo. Jim Conway speaking. This is the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>